Hello everybody. Welcome to uh, this emergency broadcast. I would like to say that this is not a test. This is not a drill. And this is certainly not fake news. My fellow citizens, of the United Kingdom. We are in great danger at World War Three breaking out. If Vladimir Putin wins and he takes over Ukraine, I'm sorry to say that the United Kingdom is next. The problem with Vladimir Putin, um, the president of Russia, he does not believe in democracy, in our human rights, rights to live our lives how we want to live. And he is in favour of dictatorship over democracy and love. Not only am I addressing the nation with this terrible news, but this is also fact. The news that I have received from God the highest power of our great kingdom. If Vladimir Putin invades Britain, then the United Kingdom is at war once more. I wish I never have to address the nation in this manner. But this is serious. This war of World War Three, as I have been told, is going to be a hell of a lot worse than World War One and Two. So my message to all of my UK citizens Stay alert, be vigilant, and be aware of your surroundings. None of us have asked to be in this war. And my heart's thoughts and support goes out to Ukraine. I never thought in a million years that I have been alive on, and living and breathing on this planet would I have to address the nation with this terrible and frightening news. We cannot hide the truth as all UK citizens deserve the truth and I am not going to hide anything from my UK citizens. It is disgusting what Vladimir Putin is doing to our counterpart of Ukraine. Believe it or not, Ukraine is part of the United Kingdom. It's our ally. A bit like Scotland and Northern Ireland and Wales. And Australia. France. That's what makes us all one massive United Kingdom.
including Ukraine. And I am prepared to go to war myself against Russia. Any time now, from now until Putin wins, should he win and take over Ukraine and then he wants to invade UK? Any time now, you are going to be hearing the war sirens once again. So my advice to all UK citizens, if you ever want to survive, you need to start preparing now. You need to equip your air raid shelters with food, waters and senescities, supplies, everything to keep you going, because we do not know how long this war, potential war, should it come to my great nation, the United Kingdom, will last. And we need to preserve our dignity and what makes us whole as a United Kingdom. United Kingdom, Ukraine and our other counterparts that makes United Kingdom belongs to our Heavenly Father, not Vladimir Putin. Throughout school years, we've all been told about the war, about Hitler, about Germans, and we defeated and killed Hitler. I thought we've seen the last of Adolf Hitler, but no, it turns out we've got another one. President Putin is now known as the new Adolf Hitler. Vladimir Putin is trying to achieve what Hitler did not achieve back in the Second World War. Vladimir Putin will not rest until he takes over every single country across the globe. Because Vladimir Putin does not give a rat's ass of who we are, what we are, our way of life, what we've grown accustomed to, and who we are as individuals. He does not care about the 21st century. He does not care of our human rights. He is a dictator and he wants us to crumble and to go back into the 50s era. I am in solidarity with Ukraine. I support Ukraine. And the whole of United Kingdom as a country stands behind Ukraine against Russian forces and Vladimir Putin, who I now call as the new Adolf Hitler. The United Kingdom must step up and stop Putin from succeeding what he wants to succeed. 
I never thought that I would say this in a million years, and I will probably regret this, what's about to come out of my mouth. Boris Johnson, I salute you for doing the right thing by implementing sanctions against Russia and Vladimir Putin. You have restored my faith in the Conservatives once again, because you, Boris, has done the right thing by stopping Russian entity within the United Kingdom. What I mean by entity, frozen money coming into the UK, blocking their bank accounts, taking away their dignity and human rights and respects. Well done, Boris. You have done me proud. And just when I was ready to give up on the Tories, they've won me over once again. And I can't believe that it would take a crisis to restore my faith in the Conservatives once again. And I was ready to step down. But Boris has proven to me that he's got what it takes to be a leader. We as a country now, our lives, and who we are in terms of our status as a country, is now under threat. This is bullying to a whole new level from Mr. Putin. He wants to destroy everything democracy and everything that we have fought for, everything that we stand for. Because Vladimir Putin is a greedy fucker. He can't leave everyone alone to live their lives how they want to live their lives. Russia and Mr. Putin ought to be ashamed of this unprecedented attack on our neighbour, Ukraine. I will not stand for bullies like Vladimir Putin who seem to think that they are God when they are not God. Our God is in heaven. He is the real God, the truth, the almighty, the omega our father of all fathers. God created us to serve a purpose, not Mr. Putin. And he seems to think he's God. I find that extremely offensive to our Lord Jesus Christ. And if I have to go to war, I will do it in the name of Christ and to Her Majesty the Queen. And I would be proud to serve and protect my citizens in the United Kingdom, including my politicians, my Queen. my police force and my country and above all
to protect my lovers. Whether it's friends, family, or counterparts, I will defend our great nation. Although I am Irish, I am proud to serve and live here in the United Kingdom. Vladimir Putin needs to be very careful now at what his next steps is going to be. Because I am not going to stand for Vladimir Putin's behaviour. It is disrespectful and I will not tolerate it anymore. Apologies if I'm turning away. Now, just before I conclude, I am going to be silent for a minute and I'm about to play a World War II siren so you guys can get familiar with it so you know what it sounds like if and when Russia invades United Kingdom because I think a lot of you have forgotten what the noise of an air raid siren is. So I'm about to play it. And I'm going to play it for you now. So you can familiarise with it. And after you have stocked up with your supplies and your senescities at your air raid shelters. And as soon as you hear the siren, you then know what you have to do. Because as of now, the United Kingdom is at war. I am now going to be silent for one hour and nine minutes. And I want you to listen to this siren very, very carefully. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching my version of the emergency broadcast to my great nation and to my citizens. The countdown has now begun and I hope that Ukraine will come out on top and recovers before it crumbles and before we crumble. Good night. God bless. And God bless the whole of the United Kingdom and Ukraine. I will see you guys tomorrow. 
in my next video. Until then, it is good night from me. Bye.